Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Vanilla Minecraft, and we're up here next to our derpy little fish farm that we built last time, and in between episodes I have used this a little bit, about three or four hours worth, and in that amount of time, we have built up quite a lot of stuff. Uh, about five and a half double chests worth, as I recall, including the hoppers behind, so that's another little bit, and a lot of good stuff too, like there's Depth Strider 3 on that one, uh, Smite 4, granted that is Curse of Binding on it, uh, Protection 4 and Sharpness 4, just all kinds of good stuff, but most notably, we got four or five mending books, which is pretty insane, I was not expecting to get that number of them that quickly, but that's pretty cool. That means that we can utilize mending on some stuff now. And if you did miss last episode, that was basically the entire point of building this little fish farm. Basically, I haven't been using mending and I wanted to start. So I built a, uh, I built a fish farm in order to get some of those mending books and allow us to start on it just a little bit. As I said in that episode, I don't want to go overboard on using stuff from the fish farm just because it's a little bit cheaty. But uh, I think that it'll hold us over until we build our villager trading system, which will be hopefully in the not too distant future. So that's that. Now we have this, so we have our mending, but we're still missing a couple really big features from newer versions of Minecraft that I'm still not using. And the big two are the Elytra and the Shulker boxes. I still haven't been using those and it's been driving me insane because they are such cool features to have. So I think that we're actually going to solve that today. And now that we have our mending books, well, I can put mending on an Elytra and use it without feeling too bad. So I'm going to head out to the end and we're going to go on a big old end adventure and hopefully return with lots of goodies, most notably Elytra and Shulker boxes. So I'm going to get over there and I'll bring you guys back in once we're all set. All right, here is our end platform where we spawn in when we jump through the end portal. And as you can see, well, there's not a whole lot of interest going on down here. The build was a little bit more interesting before, but because the dragon started destroying some of the blocks, a few people on the server replaced it with this uh, kind of dragon-proof style design, which I think is fine. It's not like it needs to be super fancy down here, though we could probably get away with doing a little bit more of an interesting build down by the platform itself, because it is a little ways away from the island, and realistically, I don't think the dragon is going to break this area unless a player comes here while she spawns. Anyway, that is a discussion for another time. Now that we're here, we should probably head on to the main islands and get down to business. But before we do, let's actually hop down this way and take a look at another build that's over here. Pretty much the only build that's in the nether, which is an enderman farm. Uh, it's nothing special, but I know you guys keep asking to see stuff on the server, so I figured we'd cover it while we were here. Now, this is an old-school Enderman farm design. It was actually built long before Endermites were even a thing, so it's actually based on the old tripwire hook design that most people would use. In fact, before that, it was even the uh, pressure plate-based design that people would use. And it still works okay. Not sure why that guy was two hits, but uh, for the most part it works and is very, very loud. <laughs> but we'll probably be building a new one in a different spot using the Endermites because those are just way more efficient. This is here, though, just so you guys know. I like, I know you like uh, knowing what's around the server. But now let's head up to the main island and do what we came here to do. So here is the surface of our island, which is kind of messy at the moment. We'll probably be cleaning stuff up a little bit whenever we decide to build something here, which, as I said, might not be too far in the future because I do kind of want to redo our spawn platform over there. But we have more pressing matters to deal with right now. Like I said, I want to head out into the end today, take one of the end gateways and go get us some Elytra and Shulker boxes, but I also want to do this process properly, which means that we first need to fight the dragon. Now, I've fought the dragon with other people, I've helped other people kill it before, but it's been quite some time since I've done it myself. In fact, I don't think I've done it solo since they redid the fight. So this should be kind of interesting. <laughs> Hey. 
Tico Tico Tom, this Tico Tico is a poo poo in my car. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Okay, the dragon is down, she's been defeated, the world is saved, and we can head out from an end gateway to the outer end islands and look for an end city, which was the original point of coming here in the first place. Now, I think we're going to go for this end gateway over here, which is right above our spawn platform. I think that that one will give us the best chance at finding new terrain, because our end is actually pretty well explored. Ooh, that was dangerous. <laughs> Our end is actually pretty well explored, at least in some directions. How am I going to do this without falling to my death <laughs> in a horrible, horrible fashion? There we go. Oh, right through the gateway. Nothing but net. Okay. So here we are, I guess, out on the end islands. And we're going to head out this way because I've taken a look at an overview map of our world here. And this direction seems like one of the best. Now, we need to be a little bit careful. Like, I know it's a little cheaty that I looked at the uh, the map, but we have some spots in the, in the, uh, the end here that have been really, really thoroughly explored. Like, <laughs> like explored to 30-some thousand blocks out. So, we want to avoid that as much as possible. But this direction here, as long as we head basically straight out, doesn't look too heavily explored. At least past a couple thousand blocks. So... Hopefully that all turns out okay. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to include the entire process of me looking for that end city because, uh, well, this is probably going to involve a whole lot of walking around, at least until we get our first Elytra. So I'm going to probably cut away and bring you guys back in once we find an unrated end city. I have caught a glimpse of an end city right over there, and I think we're far enough out, 4,000 blocks. I think that that's beyond where people were in this direction. So I think that this should be an unrated city, hopefully. <laughs> if it's been raided, well, we're going to be very disappointed when we get there. And yes, it has a boat. So we are hopefully I'm not seeing any signs of it being raided yet. And I see a shulker on the outside. That's a good sign. Hopefully we are in store for an Elytra and a bunch of Shulker boxes. This is quite the large tower, so hopefully we get quite a few from it. Yep, looks unrated considering these Shulkers are still out here. Open up. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's head out He. Oh boy. Please don't. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, Respiration 3, I'll take. And seven diamonds. And an amazing shovel. Other than the Fortune 3. Fortune 3 is kind of annoying on shovels because of gravel. Ooh, tons of emeralds too. Me likey. Okay. Yay, I've learned how to do stuff with emeralds. I am great. Okay. So let's head back. That's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Why am I so clumsy today? Let's head... Uh, well, let's just get up here and see where we're at. Okay, that really needs to stop happening. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, geez, there's ta there's giant towers in every direction, isn't there? Oh, this direction has the boat. We'll go there last, just because that's uh, very, very exciting. Hey, give me... Hit me. Hit me. Thank you. Oof. Oh, of course, he teleports. Okay. No, there's a shulker box down there, or a shulker shell, I should say. Diamond horse armor, I'll take. Uh, smite four sword, sure, why not? Ooh, pick. That's got kind of a rubbish enchantment, but I'll hold it for now. Unbreaking three. Curse of vanishing, though. Uh, I'll take it, why not? Uh, wow. Protection four, unbreaking three, mending. Throw some aqua affinity and respiration on that, and that's fantastic. Fire protection two. Oh, I'm out of space, aren't I? <laughs> Uh, well, okay, since we are up here and have the shells, let's, uh, grab a little bit of wood. Do, do, crafting table. 
And let's create a shulker box. There we go. Beautiful. So this will be our end city loot shulker box, I suppose. We'll just fill it up with that stuff. Stick our shulker shells in there for the time being. That will be okay. So that should be good. Uh, stick that in there. Well, I'm lazy. Let's just stick that in the end chest. And let me let me put my silk touch right there. Okay. Ooh, almost looked at the Enderman. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take that. 13 diamonds in a single chest. That is insanity. Sharpness for a sword. R fancy boots that have kind of a rubbish protection on them. And again, nice boots that have a rubbish protection on them. That's fine. We can probably fix that with some clever use of uh, enchanting. One more shulker shell to the collection. And there's quite a few guys in here, isn't there? Ah, bucks. <laughs> bucks? I don't know why I said bucks. I think I was going to say shucks. Anyway. Well, we have a chest down here. For some reason, the, uh, the last two spots that should have had chests didn't, which I didn't realize could happen. I thought it would always have a chest if it was uh, one of the spots that usually do. But I guess not. Two more shulker shells that we have. Uh, Smite 5. Wow. Good wither sword. Okay. So that's one more building down. And of course he drops a shell where I have to enter pearl up to get it. No complaints here though. I'm not going to thwart any uh, attempts that the shulkers have at giving me more shells. See a little ender might roaming around down there. But... I think that that's good, other than any stray shulkers that we have, which I already hear more of. But other than that, we can just head on down to the boat now, which is fantastic. Where was the boat? I seem to be missing the boat. Hey, stop it. Uh, boat, boat, boat. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Whew. <laughs> That was clumsy of me, but that means that it will be easier to find the boat, which is on that side. Okay, so I'll head back up there and get over to the boat quick. Okay, we have found the boat. So, you can ender pearl from the edge and make it, right? Like, I'm not going to hit the edge down there and fall into the void, am I? <laughs> Let's find out. We're good. Okay. Uh, let's take care of the shulker situation first. There's one. I think there's always one on the back, too, isn't there? Looks like it. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Problem solved. And now we can go down, take care of the shulker that's guarding the Elytra. And grab that. Yes. Let's see. Uh, man, <laughs> we're out of space again. Uh, and chest. Shulker box. Ah, that is so lovely. <laughs> I have waited so long to do that. Wow, we're up to 32 shulker shells. That's 16 more in addition to uh, this one. Uh, for shulker boxes, I mean. So that is fantastic. A really good silk touch pick. No complaints here. 30 diamonds. This is actually astonishingly lucrative <laughs> as a thing to do, just to come out and raid the end. But we've got the chests. <laughs> just spinning the elytra. There we go. Yay! Woo! <laughs> okay. So, we have our elytra now. Let's actually uh, put these on. Oh! <laughs> I forgot that uh, there's an interesting little factoid about the Elytra. Uh, my Elytra, at least. And that is... Well, here, let me... Uh, ooh. <laughs> let me grab the dragon head as I explain this. 
My Elytra has a rather unique property, more so than most people's. My Elytra has a unique texture. Now, anyone who has a cape has a unique Elytra, a uh, unique Elytra texture. But the one for my cape, which, if you weren't aware, I have a, uh, I have a cape. It's an official cape. It's a cobalt cape. And it's the only cape in the game, out of all of the capes that exist, at least as far as I know, that does not have an Elytra texture that matches the texture of the cape. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Uh, before we do that, let me actually throw some enchants on the Elytra. I was prepared for that. That was the uh, point of the fish farm that we built last episode, actually. Making sure that we had mending in time for... Uh, oops. <laughs> there we go. And let's pick these back up. Okay. So, my Elytra, as I was saying, has an a uh, unique texture that you don't really see <laughs> on other capes. Other capes, the Elytra matches the cape texture. My cape, though, when you have an Elytra on, <laughs> and this comes with a trypophobia warning, supposedly, I've been told that it triggers some people if they uh, have fears of holes or whatever it is trypophobia really is. My wing texture looks like bug wings. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's an intentional thing or if they just forgot to make a texture for the cobalt cape because it's like kind of obscure one. But that is what my Elytra looks like. So I have insect wings, basically. Now, that's fine. And boy, have I waited a long time to do this. In fact, let's actually uh, let's land here for a second and grab some fireworks because I did bring those along with me as well. Oh, this is going to be so glorious. I've waited so long. Okay. Oh, so good. <laughs> this also means that it's going to be really easy for us to check for shulkers. Like, for example, this one right here. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I've waited so long to be able to fly. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so we officially have all of the things we're missing. We have the shulker box, we have the elytra, and that is absolutely fantastic. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Okay, so yeah, that's amazing. I've waited so long. Oh, geez, coming in real hot on that one. <laughs> Not used to fighting with these things yet. With the uh, elytra on, I mean. But, yeah, I, I've i completely lost track of what I was saying now. <laughs> Dang it. But, anyway, uh, now that we have... Oh, that's what I was saying. Now that we have everything, now that we have the Elytra and the Shulker boxes and stuff, uh, we can focus a little bit more on building, and we can get back to some of the big projects that I wanted to do. Ow. <laughs> Forgot to reactivate my Elytra. I'm new to this, okay? Leave me alone. But, uh, yeah, it's so good to finally have all this. So, which means we can finally focus on big stuff. But now that we're out here in the end and, well, we're flying around, we may as well take advantage and try and gather a little bit more. So I'm going to look for a few extra end cities now that I can just fly to find them. And, well, we're going to see what we end up getting out of all this.
Okay, we've made it back home in one piece, and boy is it fun flying around my island like this. <laughs> it's gonna be even more fun in the future, I think, because we're actually going to end up renovating the surface of my island and making it look like much more kind of custom terrain rather than feeling like a vanilla biome. I think that that'll make this a really cool place to fly around like this. But that is a long-term project and one that we're not gonna see in the near future, I don't think, at least not in its final form. Anyway, our N-City raid was quite successful, I would say. On the way out, I believe I raided four or five N-Cities in total, which is kind of cool. I didn't do more, mostly because I was running out of food. The, uh, the entire last city I raided was, in fact, done on one or two pieces of food, I believe. <laughs> Wasn't great. As for the city raids, they were quite lucrative, actually. Let's uh, head in here and check them out. Considering we only raided a handful of cities, this is pretty good, I think. Three of them had Elytra out of the, I think, five in total, so that's pretty good. All kinds of diamond gear, some of which is quite nice, like the Silk Touch pick. Uh, 43 diamonds, most of which came from that crazy uh, first city we went into, which is kind of bonkers, but <laughs> worth the trip. And, of course, the, what is this, 85 shulker shells, not counting the two that we used to make this shulker box, and two more. I actually made one other shulker box already. So we actually got 89 shulker shells out of that trip. And right at the end, I also picked up six chorus flowers so that we can build a chorus plant farm at some point in the future. Whether or not I actually have a use for purper is a different story, but a chorus plant farm should be fun. Anyway, uh, our in-city trip, oof. <laughs> Need to stop doing that. Was quite fun. It was a bit uh, kind of rambly and a bit choppy. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's a whole lot to pack in, and I was also very... Uh, <laughs> how do you say rambly, I guess is the way to say it. <laughs> I'm not very good at commentating when I don't have a, uh, like a dedicated subject. So I had to cut a lot of that out. But hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys, and we'll be back to more normal programming next episode, I think. So, with that, I think we're good for today's episode, and I'm going to sit here and swoop around my island a little bit more, because it is really, really fun, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.